we took over a 1959 drive-in motor in three years ago with a vision to open the city's first gay-oriented, straight-friendly hotel. Over 20 years ago, Ian Schrager was building great boutique hotels and they were known as homo-friendly. My concept was to make it hetero-friendly or straight-friendly, a place that's built from the ground up with the gay tourist and gay consumer in mind, but a place where straights would feel welcome as well. With the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, with legalization of gay marriage, and with gays being mainstream in the media, a lot has changed, but a lot hasn't changed. I still have friends that check into a traditional hotel and ask for a king-size room, and there are two men or there are two women, and the front desk people still give them a weird look. They still don't feel comfortable, for example, holding hands or kissing their significant other in a traditional straight environment. So what we've created a place here is a place where people can feel comfortable doing whatever they like, and all of our straight friends and family are welcome too. We wanted to make this place a stylish and architectural gem. So everything we did at the Out NYC is from that point of view. For example, we have a 180 foot sculptured hallway that looks like a Richard Serra inspired sculpture. It undulates four times up and down and around and around to take you through the building on the first floor. On the second floor, we wanted to create unique spaces unseen in New York. Only a few blocks from Times Square, we have an urban oasis, a lawn right here in the middle of Manhattan. The hotel opened today. We have the outnyc.com website where we're taking reservations and information about having weddings here and our nightclub and everything else we have to offer here at this urban resort.